praise God. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, God is good for the time. And God is good. That is his nature. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I would like to I would like you to I would like you to share this live video because we are going to first of all pray. We are going to pray, we are going to hear the word of God and then God will bless you. If you have any prayer request, kindly share it and then I'll be praying for you. I will be praying for you. Yeah. Uh I want to first of all uh, invite you to like to subscribe to my YouTube channel because this video is gonna be there as well. It's gonna be on my YouTube channel, Fred Kabogoza. So you can pass by and and subscribe, and God will bless you. Um, I want to pray before. I'm going to talk about repentance. Repent away. I, I mean, yeah, repent from your sins. Repent from, from your idols. Praise God. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this another day that you have given to us, that you have brought to us so that we can rejoice in it. Father, I pray for whoever is going to watch this video. Grace. May this word impact their lives. May this word enrich in their hearts and repent and turn back to you. Father, I pray that may there be no dis uh, destruction uh, from hearing your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. May there be no obstac obstacles, obstructions as they watch, as they listen to your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Uh, those who are watching me right now, I once again invite you, I mean, I uh, welcome you. Um, my name is. I'm Evangelist Freddy Kabogoza and I'm blessed by God. Praise God. So uh, today we are, I'm going to speak about uh, something which is uh, kind of repenting, turning away from your sins and come back to God. Turn away from your sins. So many things that we do that doesn't please God, even myself. At times, I might speak something or a, or a word, and in my heart, I feel it is not godly. So I have to repent. Praise God. It's at times, uh, I might feel jealousy, or you might feel jealousy upon someone. But that is not godly, so you have to repent. Uh, again, you must you might speak ill against your your neighbor or against someone else, but still you have to repent. The Bible says you repent seventy seven times a day. A day. So, in other words. Anything that you do or you speak which is not godly, repent. 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 God used, uh, God used to call upon the children of Israel to repent because they, they had disobeyed. They were rebellious against God because they even forgot that God is the one who restored. Oh, who delivered them from the hands of the Egyptians, from the hands of Pharaoh. And then he fought for them 
he fought for the children of Israel from day one since they were leaving Egypt and then up to in on their way on their journey because of their rebellious because they were rebellious two people two like one two reached the promised land why because of their rebellion they were rebellious a journey that that that, uh, that was supposed to take like uh, 10 days it took 40 years why why a journey which was supposed to take 10 days it took them 40 years why because of their rebellion rebellion is a big sin against god it's a sin it's a big sin rebellion if you refuse to do something that god tells you to do that is rebellion and then for you you do other things that is rebellion so what you got to do is to repent and come back to god repent repent the bible says in the book of uh, uh, first second chronicles chapter 7 and verses uh and verses 14 if my people who are called by my name shall humble down shall humble down and pray and paint and turn away from their sins then i will hear from heaven and heal their land how do you expect god to do for you something when you have not repent you should repent you need to repent how do you expect your future to be brighter and yet you are rebellious before God. How? Certain things fail to happen or to, we fail to succeed in life simply because we are rebellious. Rebellious to pay the tithe. Rebellious to serve God. Rebellious to gather. Rebellious to listen to the word of God. Rather, we, 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 we look unto things of the world more than a seeking God. We look unto things of the world and the problems of the world rather looking at, how, at what God can do for us if we trust in him. So we should repent. We need to repent. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 14, and verses 6. Ezekiel, chapter number 14, and verses 6. The Bible says, Therefore, say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Repent and turn away from your idols, and turn away from your faces from your from all your abominations turn away from your 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 idols turn away from your faces from your abominations three words uh, sometimes uh, you know there are things that we thing to do against other people I just wonder uh, sometimes I wonder how, why these people who bewitch others think before they do it like bakula Obaba to get sale, the Shiroga Nabu, Nishiba Ruga, 
I mean never baroga, never roga banda. Nothing at in a bo. The body will ruin. She she a chivalite of college into it. That is rebellion. Bujemo Bujemo all over Numa Nadango Jamie or college of a corner child or walk a time round in that corner gamba. That is rebellion. You are rebellious against God. If you, the moment you refuse to walk according to how God wants you to, then you become rebellious. The heart that you develop to bewitch others or to kill someone who is innocent simply because you want to get something out of him or from him, then you bewitch someone simply because you don't want to succeed. You don't want him or her to succeed better than you. And yet you yourself also, you are not successful. But you have that, that feeling, that envy on your heart. That is Satan's envy. That is Satan's heart. You don't wish others well. That is Satan using you. Simply repent. Repent and receive salvation once again. And then you you turn away from those wicked ways. Turn away from worshipping idols. O kusinza bukatonda o bumbe o kugenda kuvuna mira ebi bumbe o kusinza o kwero zalo za. Wachi mwero zalo za. Wachi mwroga wa namwe. Ijichibu nina chile mira kunyo. I'm going to put emphasis on why people bewitch others. Why? The Bible says power is upon our tongue and we can speak something and it happens. Why not you to wake up one day and say, oh God, I'm done with this hatred, with this uh, heart, with this body heart that I have of hating others. That is Satan using you. Satan is using your life. Your, 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 is using you to like to, to hate other people. Satan is using you to, to hate uh, going to church. Some say going to church. The, the, the pastors will, will force you to, to, give, to leave their, your, my money or your money. Like paying tithe, paying offering. What for? So that's what Satan is trying to impact in your life so that you hate going to church, so that you hate serving God or gathering with your fellow believers. So we should resist Satan. We should resist Satan because we have that power. Jesus gave us that power to resist Satan. Praise God. So, uh, the Lord tells Ezekiel to inform the children of Israel that, therefore, say to the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, repent. Repent and turn away from your idols. The things of the world that we see, they are going to perish. Why should I have to kill my brother simply because I need money? Or I want something from him? Why should I have to kill my brother because I need a phone from him? Why? And yet, this phone will either get a uh, short circuit or it will fail to work anymore. Why? 
Why should I have to kill my brother simply because I need his or her land? Why? Why should I have uh, to bewitch my brother, my sister, simply because I don't want him to be successful? Why? To what extent? That's just this. That is just Satan's heart desire. He wants you. Or whenever Satan sees you with the, with that heart, with that habit of of hatred in you, he rejoices. But the moment he sees you loving God, serving God walking strongly with God. He feels jealousy. He makes sure he fights you until you are down. You have seen many pastors who have been powerful preaching the gospel but to, 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 to reaching an extent Satan fights them. He uses other people to fight them. You know? So that's that, that is what we have that is what we need to repent against we need to repent so that God can forgive our sins and return to him in the name of Jesus so I, I'm gonna read for you the last scripture and then I'll be praying I'll be praying for you uh, Okay. Okay. Zephania. Zephania chapter 2, verses 2. The Bible says the time for repentance is speeding by like a uh, chaff, whirled before the wind. Therefore, consider before God is decree brings forth the curse upon you before the time to repent is gone like the drifting chaff before the fierce anger of the Lord comes upon you yes before the day of the wrath of the Lord comes upon you the Bible says listen Zephaniah chapter 2 verses 2 the Bible says the time for repentance is speeding. If you read the post that I posted uh, yesterday, it's about time. Very many people say time is running and yet it's you who is growing old. Time is, is here. Time is available. But you you are growing old that's why that's why you 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 see that uh the more you grow old for you see time is running you have done nothing you have done nothing same to repentance repentance is running fast is speeding speeding so you should repent even before time comes i mean before time ends repentance is speeding up that is the funny chapter 2 and verses 2 the time for repentance is speeding by like chaff world before the wind therefore consider before God's decree brings forth the curse upon you in the end one will will decide to repent when it is too late. Let us not be taken by the things of the world that we see here and which perishes every day, whereby even people die, rich, rich people die and leave things there and leave the things here on the earth. And if to an, to an, to, to an extent, the family members fight for them and reach an extent of killing themselves. 
So, we should not consider the things that we see with our eyes, but rather let's consider the things that we that we see spiritually that we shall have after life. In the afterlife, let's let's mind about God, God's word. Let's take a quick hour uh, response, response to God's word than to the things of the world. Somewhere in the Bible, it says, What shall profit a man? What shall profit a man? If the whole world eat the whole world these people that you see they murder the others they kill others simply because they think they won't die I have witnessed the number of leaders trying to do the same they are insisting in power simply because they think they won't die or they won't live they think they will live forever look at these powerful leaders like Gaddafi Mama Gaddafi uh, uh, these other uh, Al-Qaeda's Bin Laden others other other people you know murdering murdering now we have one in africa that is museveni museveni has killed so many ugandans but do you think insisting in power now 35 35 years do you think insisting in power you will live forever no you can't you can't you can't life is like vanishes life vanishes go in my previous sermon of 2020 i preached about life and I demonstrated life vanishes. I mean, things, they do vanish. Those who don't have life, they vanish. Even we, human beings, we vanish. Because I might be speaking to you right now. Then, the next day, you don't see me no more. Why? Because life vanishes. Brethren, let's not be taken by the things of the world. Let's not be the lovers of the things that we see with our eyes. Rather, let's stick on looking upon God. And God will forgive us. He will forgive you. If you if you have been a sinner, repent. God is full of mercy. God is full of love. He will forgive you. He will forgive your iniquities. He will forgive your sins. Our grand grandparents, they sinned. Who had sinned against God? Even the curse is still moving upon those people who have not uh, repented, have not believed, even those who believed, if they don't draw near closer or draw more and more and more to God, the curse is still moving upon them. So we should lay our hearts to, before God and repent. Repent of our sinful nature. The words that you speak, the words we speak, 
evil words the actions that we do to others that sin we need to repent and come back to God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ uh so next time uh I'll, I'll be coming back still on the same topic of repentance and then we shall lo- be looking at so many things in the repentance uh sermons and then I'm sure you will you will understand and you will, you will come back to Christ the things of that of the world we, we don't rip them we don't rather we leave them you might be having good cars houses children women mm. lands so many lands but if you if you die you don't go with anything you leave them here on earth so that's what that's why i urge you brethren to repent of anything that you feel you did wrong before god thank you very much for watching thank you for listening to me god bless you i'm gonna uh ask every, any, everybody who are watching me right now if you would like to give your life to christ today and you would like to, to welcome jesus in your in your life to be your personal lord and savior i want you to repeat these words after me say lord jesus i acknowledge you are the son of god you died on the cross you died a shameless death for me to be forgiven my sins father i repent my sin today i repent all the sins that were done for me that i did i repent wash me with your precious blood that was shed on the cross at calvary cleanse me lord forgive my iniquities write my name in the book of the living and remove it in the book of the dead so that on the day i be with you father i give you my life today as a living sacrifice use me in the name of jesus so having repeated that prayer i want you to pray I, I, i'm going to pray for you and if you and if you left your comment i'll be praying for you father in the name of jesus christ i want to thank you for this wonderful uh, topic about repentance that i have started sharing father may it impact in the lives of those people may they be there in their heart and turn back to you and let them repent of anything that they did knowing and unknowingly father I rebuke Satan out of their lives away from their lives in the name of Jesus father use those people use those believer those who backslide father those who had backslided father bring them back to you bring ba- them back in your hands lord in the name of jesus in the name of jesus father i call upon you today come and touch the lives of those people heal them heal their broken heart heal those wounds father in the name of jesus restore anything that had been destroyed because still saying that you you will restore whatever the the locust had eaten father restore whatever has been eaten by the locust 
in the name of Jesus. Father, keep your children away from all the enemies in the name of Jesus. Fight for them. Fight for their battles. Fight for their finances in the name of Jesus. Fight for, fight for them in any business they do. Fight for their businesses. Fight for their marriages. Fight for their education. Fight for their destiny in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for success in your life today in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to thank you, Lord, because you have heard my prayer. Those who are sick, I pray for instant healing right now in the name of Jesus. May the power of the Holy Ghost come and fall on you, come and heal you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and the living God, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Yes, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this live video. I pray it has blessed you. It has been a blessing in the name of Jesus. I pray that you share it with your friends. Let them be encouraged in the mighty name of Jesus. It's going to be live, uh, uploaded on my YouTube channel, Faith Kabogoza. Like it, uh, subscribe, and share. Comment, encourage, uh, comment your testimony, and I'll be praying. Uh, comment your testimony, comment your prayer request, I'll be praying for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Amen. See you on the YouTube channel. God bless you. Shalom.